this is Brent, and today we're going to jump over to the Tribalag mobile app and learn how to create and share bulk work orders. Before we get started, we want to first make sure that we have the right version of the app installed. For both operating systems, you'll need version 4.7 or higher. We're also going to want to make sure that we have the data ready to enter into the work order. This could include items like field boundaries, products, operators, machines, and guidance lines. Now that we've checked out the first two items, we can jump into the app to start working with work orders. Let's start by creating a new work order in the work order tab. Tap the plus sign in the top right hand corner. Tap Add Fields at the top. Select all fields that you want to include in this work order. Tap Save. Enter a task name, the type of operation. As you can see, because the planting operation can involve inputs, the Materials tab now shows up, but we'll get more into that shortly. The plan date, when this work order will expire, crop stage if applicable, weather restrictions. For example, you can set the max wind speed that you want the operators to plant in to ensure they're notified when they open the work order. And any additional comments or instructions. Once we start filling in the work order details, this gray section at the bottom will start providing the total task costs associated with the work order. We'll refer back to this as we go. Now we're going to follow along the top and fill in the additional work order details. In the first tab, we're going to choose the input that we'll be using for the planting operation. Tap the plus sign beside the desired product. Enter the application details, including costs if possible. Tap Save. Now you can see at the bottom, if you've assigned a cost to your materials, like we have in our situation, then you should start seeing the total task cost populating. Now we're going to choose the vehicles and possible implements that we're going to use. Tap the plus sign beside each one to open up the available lists. Check off the vehicles or implements. And tap Save. Next, we can add the operators that we want to assign this work order to. Tap the plus sign at the top, check off the operators, and tap Save. And finally, if available, we can choose the appropriate guidance lines for the task. Now that we have all the details of the work order entered, we need to go back to this work order's homepage to save the work order. Before we can send the work order out to the applicators, we have to go back to the main screen and sync the mobile app. Once your sync has completed, tap on work orders again, so we can now send the summary of the work orders to the applicator. Select the work orders you want to send by tapping the field boundary area of the work order. Tap the edit button in the top right. Choose how you want to share the work order. And tap send. A summary of the work orders will be sent off to the applicator to action. Now let's jump over to our email and see how the report turns out. Open up the email you were sent and click the blue link provided. A new web page will open up with the details of the work order. The first page is an overall summary of the tasks. At the top, you will see the field details. At the bottom, you will see the application details. At the left side of the report, you will see the individual fields and their relative plan date. When you click on the field, will open up a much more detailed description of the application. 
showing all the task items that were entered in our mobile app.